In this video, I'll show you how to edit videos, maybe 2K, 4K, smoother in a shortcut, and especially if you may not have the most powerful computer. Now, these days, people are shooting videos, whether it's 2K, 4K, and even a smartphone like your iPhone will be able to shoot high resolution videos. However, when it comes to editing, those things can actually slow you down. So, in this video, I will show you how you can actually uh, set shortcut up so that your edits will still be smooth and fast and you can actually get more uh, videos done. So let's dive straight into this video. If you're new to my channel, my name is James and I create video and tutorials to help you to leverage tech so that you can create greater impact in your life. Now uh, I have here, uh, this is shortcut version 20.07.11. Now in order to use a proxy, the settings is here, right in under settings there is proxy. You can turn proxy on and off. Okay, so I'm just going to turn proxy on, right? And uh, okay, so no, I'm not going to do it for this particular project. However, when you drag this uh, clip down onto the uh, timeline, so uh, the proxy is being created with a shortcut. So one of the great things about this proxy settings is that you don't have to turn it on all the time. Uh, however, if you turn on the proxy settings, means that every time you use when you open a new uh, media. Uh, shortcut will actually automatically create a proxy file. Now with the proxy settings turned on, every time you drag a media into shortcut, shortcut will uh, create that proxy. So let's try another clip over here. So let's try this one. Okay, let's do this. And let's go, okay. So you, all right, let's just convert this and you see that the proxy file is being created. Hmm, strange, a plane is really flying overhead right now. Okay, let me just mute this. So, you can see that the proxy file is being created right now. However, there's another way to actually use a proxy which is by creating it ad hoc. So, let's turn proxy setting off. Okay, now let's open another clip up. Let's open uh, this one, say, uh, this one here. Okay. So let's say if I want to create a proxy for this particular file, all I need to do is go to properties and click on proxy and then make a proxy. So I can or you can actually make proxy files individually on the go. So these are two ways uh, that uh, proxy files can be created in shortcut. Now I find that when I'm doing recording, uh, creating proxy files will actually make my edits much smoother, uh, even though you may have a lot of transitions and edits. I hope that this video has helped you. If you want to learn more tips and tricks, consider subscribing. I have also an entire list of using shortcut here on the playlist. And if you want to uh, get step-by-step -step instructions on using shortcut, everything from A to Z, I have a link below to my course. Do check that out.